Nigeria don't gain a new rank on top World Bank ease of doing business. As the world, they mark World Polio Day today, waiting be the next agenda for Nigeria on top polio disease. Nigeria and Russia don't agree to cement business friendship for economic growth. House of Reps don't call for local production of ammunition for Nigerian army. And inside the world of sports, federal government don't approve money where they go refund to World Athletics Body, money where they mistakenly pay Nigeria Athletics Body for 2018. My people, good evening this evening. Thank you so you join us for As It Take Happen. My name, Naina Douglas. For the first news we are carry on for now, President Muhammad Buhari done the smile sick of the latest World Bank 2020 Doing Business Index, where ranked Nigeria 131 out of 190 countries for the world. This one can catapult the country 15 places up from the 146 position within the last year. When it welcomed the announcement, President Buhari talks said this one the very, very important part because in administration still never achieved some of the key reforms where they plan to achieve. It talks say this confirmation or this confirmation by World Bank shows say in strategy they work and they will continue to they push harder to deliver more cadet reforms will go benefit country people. The report with them released early on Thursday will be today equally list Nigeria as one of the top 10 most improved economies for the world for the second time for three years. But as it be, Nigeria now one of only two African countries to make this Obonge list. And with this year leap, Nigeria don't improve as and get aggregate of 39 places for the World Bank Doing Business Index since 2016. The team be say, the, the Doing Business Index now ranking where they do every year where they check conditions across 190 countries based on 10 ease of doing business indicators. The report on top of that one also feature Lagos and Kano with the inside Nigeria. Meanwhile, the Nigerian leader, President Muhammad Buhari Tokse, ego injects fresh energy, especially for the Nigeria-Russia friendship to make the long relationship between the countries be like five and six. For one talk paper, we'll be saying that the senior special assistant to the president on top media and publicity, Garbashe, will bring. He quotes President Muhammad Buhari for the second plenary of the Russia-Africa summit, where more than 40 leaders around the world participate. President Buhari Yan say the initial warm and harmony where he enjoyed with Russia or with Nigeria enjoy with Russia or where they, they call before USSR after Nigeria independence in 1960 say then go revive them so that citizens for both countries fit benefit from social social cultural educational technological and trade exchange. President Vladimir Putin of Russia now follow chair the Russia Africa Summit plus including African Union Chamo and Presido of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Abdel Fattah El Sisi. And back home, federal government talks said in the fine-tuned details will go help them to establish national career for Nigeria. Minister with the in charge of aviation, Hadi Sirika, now announced this one to journalists inside Abuja shortly after the budget defense session with the Senate Committee on Top Aviation. According by Senator Sirika, government don't they do plenty meetings with people where they build aeroplane, that is, manufacturers of airbuses and other stakeholders, sake of this one. He adds, say, as against popular belief, the plan for Nigeria to get national career still they on track. We have, we have finished the outline business case, which has been duly considered by ICRC and passed. And uh, they're back to us now. And we'll set up the committee as required by the law and by the program. And then uh, we'll go to the market very soon. And once we're in the market, we'll procure. Just yesterday, I'm sure you missed the news. Yes, they missed the news that uh, 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 one of the OEMs, original uh, uh, equipment manufacturers, such um, Airbus, was in our office in, with the entire team, or with their president, and so on and so forth. And some of the uh, greatest, I mean, big names in leasing were also in my office. We've been talking, and some of those uh, who are interested in partnering with us were also in my office. 
The minister talks, says Sekov said they don't complete the new terminal building inside the Akanobiam International Airport, Enugu. Plus, the one will be say Obonge government approved additional 10 billion naira for further rehabilitation of the Enugu Airport runway. We are, the, 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 Inugu airport, the Inugu airport money has been approved by Mr. President. We are waiting for the release and I'm sure it will be released very soon. And we are meeting with the contractor today. And uh, today he will give us his program of work. We will look at that program of work diligently and ensure that it's procured within the time and within the budget. And the time for the procurement, I said certainly will be before Easter. Okay. It will be concluded before Easter. Easter. However, I can give you a definite date after I met with the contractor today. To blow his own trumpet, he equally talks say the Ministry of Aviation don't they even repair Port Tarkot, Abuja and Kano Airport will go ready by December this year. And from that story, we move to another one. Federal government talks say that they, currently, that they currently execute 540 highway projects with a contract money of more than 4 trillion naira across the country. Minister on Top Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, now revealed this one on Thursday when he appeared before the National Assembly Committees to defend budget with consign in ministry. According by Fashola, they don't classify some of them as national priority uh, or national priority project where include the Second Niger Bridge, Abuja Kaduna Road, Lagos Ibadan Expressway and the East West Road. Fashala also talks say in ministry go pay attention to complete work where they go on now across major ports and agricultural hubs. Nobitori to tell you again say today in a World Polio Day. As Nigeria joined the rest of the world to celebrate the World Polio Day, stakeholders talk say they don't identify as major issue where go help end the disease, matter way consign inclusion plus including uh, including to speed up the implementation of the Disability Rights Act. For this report, Wazobia Max TV correspondent Solomon Ndahi take a look at the matter, plus including what he make today, tick the report. Now, today we take celebrate the World Polio Day. This day now they take celebrate. I'm sick of saying they all remember the different, different people who they suffer from virus, maybe polio, where the children make them where they work out, and the different kind of discussion where everybody fit to do. So we go fit to beg a polio command for inside the country. During the time we one of the people where they talk on top of this matter, the young, where she be the executive director of the Disability Rights Advocacy Center, Madam Irene Patrick Obogu. She come and talk, say, what thing go good, what thing go sweet. They are belly. Now, say, maybe make sure, see, anybody will get the smoke or carry water, say, maybe leg or hand or the drum. See, that bill where Presto Muhammad Buhari already signed for January. So make the measures in that bill now the range jump quick quick so that it will reduce the difference of ahead with different people that we get disability they face inside the country. We call on government to fast track the implementation of the Disability Rights Act without further delay, including the establishment of the National Disability Commission to ensure that the health and socioeconomic needs of polio survivors and indeed all persons with disabilities are swiftly addressed. We are grateful to our partners who continue to support our efforts at promoting the rights of persons with disabilities. This rally was made possible with support from the Rule of Law and Anti-Corruption Program, ROLAC, funded by the European Union and implemented by the British Council. For inside, the person we know is Ms. Bao Lawan Didi, we know him with the President of the Parasoka Federation of Nigeria. He come here and talk, say, what thing will go and make a government self arrange better protectors? We could make life of people who don't suffer from polio, make it easier, plus including any other person who get disability. He comes to local matter and talk, say, they get different, different things like a sport, music, movie, film matter, with a fit use to take encourage people with disability so that them, uh, they go fit to contribute for inside the country. Encourage government to bring out policies and programs. Uh, all of us, we know that it's not quite long. The president have signed into into law the disability discrimination bill, which among some of the things that are in the bill is the rehabilitation of polio survivors, free education, uh, accessibility, and so on. Which I believe, once the uh, the, the commission is established, many of our problems will be taken care of. And I think. Mr. President is doing well and we'll be able to support him and see that the commission is being established. Solomon and Dahi was so Max TV. 
And from that one, we move to the National Assembly. And as it takes happen, Speaker of House of Representatives, Femi Gbajabia Mila, don't hammer the need to encourage local production of ammunition for army people. Honorable Gbajabia Mila talked this one during budget defense, we consigned defense headquarters. The Speaker talks, say, unless they extend the promotion of local content to security sector, the country no good is secured at all. Earlier for own Yans, the Chief of Defense Staff, Abayomi Oloni Shakin, talks say security agencies under defense headquarters don't they do everything within their capacity to, to produce ammunition on their own. And for another story we resemble that one, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, talks say the Air Force will get two helicopter gunship before the end of the year. Air Marshal Sadiq, we talked this one today during budget defense of the Air Force before the House of Representatives Committee on Top Air Force. Talk say they don't, they don't train 600 graduates. Sorry, I beg your pardon. They don't recruit 600 graduates. Then they recruit inside the force to expand the capacity of the Air Force to handle security problems with the country they face. Chamo of the committee, Shehu Koko, for his own part, tell the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Abubakar, say making extend air power to Sokoto, Kebi, and Zamfara states to address plenty security wahala for those areas. And from there, we move to Kaduna State. Kaduna State Police Command talks say they don't grab five workers of the National Tuberculosis and Leprosy Training Center, Zaria, sake of their suspected involvement on top employment scam. The command talk talk person, Yakubu Sabu, will confirm the arrest. Talk say these five suspects don't they assist police to touch light the matter. Report talks say they issued 200 fake appointment letters to newly recruited staff of the center by members of the syndicate. Then discover the fake appointment later during biometric capturing of the newly employed members of staff of the center for IPPS inside Zaria. People will do this employment or will this employment will affect Toxi, then pay between 200,000 and 700,000 to secure this employment by the center. My people, on a steady day on top as it take happen. We will come back now with business news. No go anywhere. And for the world of business, Director General, Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Muda Yusuf, the happy well where sake of Nigeria don't move up to 15 places to rank 131 for the latest World Bank's ease of doing business. Ranking from the 146th position with the country been day before. Yusuf, for one special interview with Wazobia Max TV correspondent Clementine Okonye, talks say that na good sign and evidence say the country they do few things right, especially for areas where consign immigration, business registration, and land documentation. He talks say other areas where government supposed to choke eyes to address na issues where consign seaport, logistics, security, transportation, and policies inconsistencies to encourage more foreign investment. On the own part, financial analyst, that is person with a bit talk on top matter, Bolahon or Lodge Day, talks say the country need to engage officials of agencies to make sure say ease of doing business continue to improve. My people, it remains sports news. We they come back now now. And Minister of Sports and Youth Development, Sunday Dari, talks say they don't set aside some money where they over $135,000 where they mistakenly pay into the account of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, AFN, by World Athletics Body, IAAF, for 2018. You feel remember, say, IAAF mistakenly credit the account of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria last year with $150,000 instead of $15,000 as Nigeria money for the year 2017. The sports minister explains say, the money way in approved so to refund to IAAF not to save the name and face of Nigeria in front of the world. He no give further information on top that one. My people, now so it take happen 
on top was Zobia Max TV. But before I go, make we carry Givuna waiting from our major Tory. Nigeria don't gain new rank on top World Bank ease of doing business. And as a world mark World Polio Day today, waiting be the next agenda for Nigeria on top polio disease. Nigeria and Russia don't agree to cement business friendship for economic growth. House of Reps don't call for local production of ammunition for Nigerian army. And for the world of sports, we tell you say federal government don't approve money where they go refund to World Athletics body. Money where they mistakenly pay Nigeria for 2018. My people now the news be that on top Wasobia Max TV. Join us tomorrow for another new edition. My name na Douglas. Una good night. <laughs>